Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Okay, so I usually follow or listen to a few uh, YouTubers, crypto YouTubers. One of them I'm listening to from time to time, uh, not as much now as I did before, is actually Crypto Zeus. I did a video about him earlier, about the token he was promoting that I consider is a rug pull or scam or really like you will lose your money. However, sometimes he says something that's interesting. So this time he, uh, oh, first I want to say that he actually talked about the lead de developer, uh, Edward, in the Terror Rebels. And I wrote in the comments saying, I did this video about three weeks ago, so he's like telling old news, okay? However, then he started now t telling, promoting a token called uh, Satoshi Island. So let's just listen together what he has to say. The FYI, you guys know Satoshi Presale is going live very soon. So if you guys are interested in that one, make sure to do your research, check it out. But I do hope that cryptocurrency does go well. But uh, Terra Luna Classic, I Okay, that was it. So I wonder, what is Satoshi Island? I think I heard about it somewhere, but usually all these things are just scams, okay? So uh, I checked out what he said here on Twitter. I found it. I went to the website here. Oh, actually, first this one I press here. I, okay, let's just do this together. I press here website, okay. So I come here. We're gonna watch this together because there's some interesting stuff here. <coughs> so it says here scroll down. So we're scrolling down, everything like looks really nice. Watch the video. No, I don't not wanna watch the video. So now it takes time. So when I'm scrolling down, this is happening. So this is um, Australia, this is New Zealand here. So where is fly direct? So you can fly direct. Oh yeah, Australia. Oh, now we're going up. Sorry, going down. This is Vanuatu. Vanuatu. Okay, a country in the South Pacific. Okay, I never heard of it actually. So then we're going down and good animation, I think, actually, in a way. Like going through the cloud and saying, wow, and then you're like really closer. Okay, this is Satoshi Island. Okay, a real life private island to the crypto community. Oh. So far, I'm not convinced. Okay, own a real piece of this island. Okay, I can understand that you can sell pieces of it. And they want to do it with NFTs. So, NFTs with real life value, that's okay. That, that's really good, actually. However, most countries has uh, like uh, property laws saying how you have to own it. It's not, not enough that you have to own it. it. It also has to be registered, you know, in one way or another. So let's continue scrolling here. I'm not going to watch these videos because it's just promotion. Satoshi Island is a 32 million square foot private island located in the tropical paradise of Vanuatu, tucked between Australia and Fiji. The island, which is owned by Satoshi Island Holding, Holdings Limited, is intended to become home for crypto professionals and enthusiasts. So if you want to go to an island where you cannot do anything, just out in the bush, you should go to Satoshi Island. Robinson Crusoe, right? Where is Friday? Okay, so island design and developer. The master planning and development process is provided by world-renowned architecture firm James Law Cybertecture. I never heard of it. How can you say world-renowned renowned architecture firm when it's like unknown? It's like saying, hey, I'm Eric. I'm known all over the world. Everybody knows about me. And then you say, what? A few hundred people of not even okay maybe a thousand people know who i am maybe by name i never said my name before okay let's continue so you can see this is just a, a 3d animation it's like it's not even real on the island okay let's continue so he cre he says he created these modules so you can build up so this is just fake as well as we can see it's like a game 
Okay, continue, but it looks nice. I have to tell them that. <coughs> so this is how they want you to live. Where are the curtains? How do you... Okay, made for the crypto con con community. And then they have Bitcoin, okay. Uh, a crypto friendly jurisdiction. The island is located in Vanuatu, a country in the South Pacific, which is a member of the United Nations. The government supports innovation and has crypto friendly laws, which was the first check mark in choosing Vanuatu, Vanuatu sorry, to become the home for Satoshi Island. And then they have some fake uh, windmills and some solar panels, okay? Advanced NFT security. Hmm. Non-fungible property tokens. This is, as we, they just called NFT up there earlier. And then Satoshi Island citizen NFTs. Wait, okay. So now they're gonna have their own citizenship. So are they gonna con like create their own country? Um, yeah, it's like the just propaganda, you know, it feels like a metaverse mirrored in reality. Okay, uh, Satoshi Island is the beginning of a future I have long imagined. James Law 2021. Okay, but why haven't never heard of it before? James Law, Island Development Team, as Chief Architect. James and his team head up the design and master planning of the island. Let's check him out. So, do, 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 do. chief architect, okay. Founder and CEO of Cybertecture. That was the same company that did, he talked about that nobody heard about. Uh, Home D, World Economic for Young Global Leader. Okay, so he's been a young global leader, leader since 2010. But he looks like he's like 50. So he's been a young leader since he was 40 then, if he's 50 now. Uh, mm, 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 mm. Okay, never mind about this. Let's go back to Satoshi Island website. So this is the team Daniel Agius, uh, with 18 years' experience working in Vanuatu. Daniel and his team handle the investment and migration requirements of all Satoshi Islanders. Let's see what he, he's done. You have to have some law degree or something, like right? Okay, so head of investment and migration. He's the manager director of iCount full time. Okay, chief operating officer, Wanato Investment Migration Bureau. Okay, that is interesting. That that is actually like so he should have like a finance or MBA or something. Uh, client 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 manager. PKF International. Okay, but what is his? Uh, here we have. He has a Bachelor of Commerce, Commerce, <laughs> Accounting and Finance. He has a Bachelor. It's like he just graduated high school. Okay, he could have some real life experience like that, but still, yeah, like this degree. Then he's been working um, from 2002 until 2019, that's 17 years. But the, here he worked as a client manager at PKF International. Never heard of that either, so it's just something small. Okay, let's go back. Because I want to see some more like technical details about Satoshi Island. But if I cannot see that, why should I trust them? Okay, so here, land NFT deed sales, second quarter 2022. So that's last, uh, like June before July. Now it's the third quarter. Okay, citizenship NFT launch. That's this quarter. Okay, NFT marketplace. It should be launching now or so this quarter. Modeler construction phase one. So that will start next year. Uh, public opening quarter one, quarter two, 2022. Wait, 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 wait. So it's the public opening has already been like eight months ago or so. But model construction. But where should they live? In tents? Hello, Robinson. 
where is Friday? Um, opportunities for you and your business. Okay, crypto project, individuals, blockchain, events. So everybody should pay like, I don't know how much. Wait, that guy I know. <laughs> I think I know him, actually. Uh, he's a, like a fitness vegan. I met him in Bangkok. He lives in Bangkok. Uh, he's German. Oh, I don't remember his name, but yeah, we used to train at the same gym uh, a, a few years ago. Uh, have a question. Frequent answer. Okay, th th so this is it. L let's go back up here. Because when I check here the token, I want to see a white paper, right? That's what we want to see so we can see. So let's just uh, enlarge this. So we have Satoshi Island Tokenomics. Okay. <coughs> uh, Satoshi Island coin. So it's a coin. So it should have their own blockchain, okay? Is the cryptocurrency that powers the Satoshi Island economy? Okay, just like the currency of a country, STC, <laughs> will be required for all commerce on the island and transactions via the Satoshi Island marketplace. So they're gonna make like some fees, uh, make money from the fees, okay? Uh, unlike a traditional government which have centralized control, of their monetary policy and have the ability to inflate the supply of their currency. Satoshi Island is operated as a DAO that is run by the Satoshi Island citizens and has a fixed supply. So that, like, that's the dream for decentralized, right? To have your country or your island, everything there is uh, like, yeah, it's, it's a really good uh, blockchain Thing or decentralized about Satoshi Island DAO. Satoshi Island DAO LLC is a non-profit organization. Wait, 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 wait. So this DAO is a company. It's a DAO. But so this DAO controls that DAO. So it's not really decentralized, autonomous application, you know. Uh, the DAO is the DAO, sorry, is the 100% shareholder of Satoshi Island Holding Limited, which owns the leasehold on Satoshi Island. So it's leased. The island is leased. So how can they sell parts of something they don't own themselves? It says so here. It's leased. They're renting it. For how many years? I have no idea. But then they're selling parts of the island. They want you to believe that you can buy parts of the island and never get evicted or anything. Unless you sell your non-fungible pro uh, property tokens, or what it was called. As a non-profit Satoshi Island DAO, it's a revenue generating entity that will use all revenue streams, blah, blah, blah. Okay. On Satoshi economy. Uh, Satoshi Island Resort opening quarter four. Now it's quarter four. Okay, is it quarter four, quarter, quarter one, 2023? <coughs> They're gonna build shops, restaurants, groceries, bars, activities, and events. Okay, for what money? Okay, all rentals of long term and holiday accommodation, all services, maintenance, healthcare, home improvements. All utilities, power plants, water plants, internet, wow. So it's like a big country in the middle of nowhere. So we could call it nowhere. Maybe that's trade market, but okay. Transportation to and from and within the island. But then they just said that there you can fly to the island. So do, is this what they mean? Okay. The introduction of an optional stable Satoshi Island dollar. So this is a second uh, token then, or coin. Will be required as to see uh, to access it also advised for fluctuation free to day transaction. Hold on, I have to take care of my daughter. <laughs> I'm back. Okay, she wanted her sister. She's uh, sitting and drawing at the table. She's four. Um, where were we? Somewhere here. NFT marketplace economy. Okay. Uh, commercial land NFTs. Campus land NFTs. So they're gonna start like a school. Citizenship NFT required to visit, live, build on the island. So you need a citizen NFT just to visit. 
All license based NFTs, blah blah blah, token distribution. Okay, so Toshi Island coin. Token! I'll get back to that later. Uh, fixed supply is 21 million tokens. Sounds a lot of like Bitcoin. Okay, ah, <laughs> mirror the total supply of Bitcoin. Sorry, I didn't read that one. I can blame my dyslexia. Okay, so here, let's check the allocation. Okay, so Dow Treasury 35%. So if the Dow Treasury is a incorporated company that has a board and everything that can like, um, yeah, manage the Treasury, that is not good. 35%, my God, okay. Public sale, 40%, 40%, okay, that's low still. Indigenous land owners. So which one are these? The ones who used to live there before they leased or bought the company? Here, 9% founding team and staff. 15% private sales. So this can go there, this can go there. So now we have 40, 50, 59, 60%. So yeah, just like this, let's say you just do this 9%. Let's say you own 9% of the entire Bitcoin. Like, no, it's just too much. Oh, this is not good. Okay, uh, and especially if you can just, uh, like, go back here and just buy 40%. Ugh. The future of Satoshi Island coin. Uh, this is just too boring to read. I have already made up my mind about this. However, I went here. I saw the official contract address I went to BSC scan because it says here uh, 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 it's I read it somewhere that it's here here is that only 21 million token supply same as Bitcoin and there was something about Binance smart chain here blockchain Binance smart chain so it's not a coin dumbasses okay so then I went to here, Binance Mo BSC scan, and then I typed in the contract address, and the first thing I noticed was, do you see what I see? Look, all these transactions. Failed, 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 something failed, okay. Let's just update this, here it says one hour, six minutes ago, maybe I can find something more. Something new, 130 minutes ago. That's the last transaction. Fail with error. E description. Uh, she's drawing. Uh, oh, if you heard it, it was my daughter. She was like, Yay! she was drawing something. Uh, so maybe I have to go away again soon and help her. However, I really don't know what fail with error, error description is. 3687 block confirmation, but there's been a fee, gas fee. Uh, so there's something here that's very, 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 very strange. The 20 tokens, here we have this, we have the contract. I just skimmed through it. I'm not a developer that good so I cannot I just checked it and I couldn't see the crazy things but then I went to token tracker Satoshi Island coin I think I read here that they were gone uh, let's see here so just here uh, I wish I had tracked around 10,000 unique buyers okay here we see we have 21,488 addresses, okay, and 23,000 transfers. So it's a lot, right? Yeah, so then, but then I wanted to check the holders here. Let's check. Then I found this contract here, but this one was, let's see, 94C2. 94C2, that, that is not the... Uh, I found out that I think it could just as well 
few days, seven hours ago. Could be the so-called Tao, maybe? I'm really not sure about that. But let's go back. So here we have, that's the largest one. Uh, we have 0 0.0045, so it's not that much, around 950 token. But what was the price? What was the price for one crazy token? So max token purchase is 387. So th that's the maximum amount, okay? So then you see here, people here own, owns more. 950, 807. Uh, let's just check 807. I want to see the last page. Still 807. Okay. Of the holders. Wait. Top 1000 holders from a total. Okay. 1000 holders. So top 1000 holders. I can surely find the rest. But the top 1000 holders, everyone has 807.5 tokens. However, also, it's not registered at Coin Market Cap or something like that yet. I only checked Coin Market Cap so far because I saw this like CryptoSus video less than one hour ago, and I really wanted to do this video and get it out and try to warn people. Like, it doesn't look good. If you fall for this shit, you really deserve to lose your money, I think. Or actually, I do. About. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, we've we already th seen all this. Uh, the island NFTs is like nothing. Okay, so my final verdict about this one is do not buy it. It's a scam. You will lose your money. And if you do invest in it, you deserve to lose your money. But don't say I didn't warn you. And CryptoSus, you cannot trust in these things. He's talking about Terra Classic, I like that. But he's just saying old news. He's like repeating what everybody else is saying. He doesn't have his own opinion. He's bought to do uh, promotions for Satoshi Island. It's pay promotion. So he should actually have a, something up here saying this is paid promotion for Satoshi Island. But he's not doing it. You cannot trust crypto influencers or crypto YouTubers that does this. It's just like Yim Crypto, the number one rug puller. He's actually a friend of Crypto Zeus. Ugh, this is terrible. Okay, that's all for today. I want to wish you... I, I thought about saying Happy Christmas. Merry Christmas, but it's not Christmas yet. Happy day. Uh, great day. Something. I'm going to cook some food now for my daughter. She had a snack. Now she's uh, drawing and... Next up is food. So, until next time, sayonara.